What's going on guys, Sean Gutierrez back with another video. I got my man Dakota in the chair. Here's the local barber student. He was at the shop shadowing. And I happened to have a minute to get him together, so I threw him in the chair real quick. I actually cut his hair years ago, but we're gonna bless him with a freshie today. Let's get right into it. I guess we're gonna jump right into this cut. This is a number two all the way close on my Stylecraft Rebel. I'm basically wanting to create the shape of the haircut. So it's gonna be kind of a burst fade, mohawk shape. I wanna go off the top of the head, off the parietal ridge, into the length on top. And you can see on the back of the head, we're gonna flick out into the hair on the back of the head. We're not gonna cut any of that today. We're just gonna do a nice burst fade on the sides and we're gonna get this beard together while we're at it. And you guys can see the number two left a little bit of a harsh guideline, not so much a guideline, but where we were trying to transition into that length. The number two left a little bit of some harshness there that wasn't all the way clean. So I'm coming behind it with a number three, again, all the way closed, just trying to lighten that up. And I'm even gonna use a number four a little bit just to make sure we have a nice smooth transition from the two to the length on top and back. And then we can come in underneath that and do our fade. Now to start this haircut off, I'm gonna go ahead and line up around the back of the neck. It's gonna be rounded at the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and work that line around the bottom, up towards the ear, and that way when we set our ball guideline, we can have a little bit of an idea of our finished product and what it's gonna look like. So I like to set that up first, then we'll come in and set our ball guideline, and we can start our fade. Now you guys can see with that lined up, it gives us an idea of what the finished haircut will look like. Now we can decide if we wanna do just like a high taper and leave it more like a siete, which has the line down the back of the neck, or if we wanna take the taper a little bit higher, more like a mohawk shape. So you guys are gonna see, I'm gonna set my ball guideline in and we're gonna go a little bit behind the ear and basically connect to that line that we just did. So we're gonna punch our guideline in with the slim lines. Guys, you know I like to use the slim lines. They don't leave such a harsh guideline. We'll be able to take that out with the clipper closed. We'll go ahead and bald everything out underneath here, and then we can come in with the shaver, get it down to skin, and we can start our first step. Now I'm using my Uno shaver here. Usually guys, I would use my double foil, but there's not a lot of room to work with here. I don't have to clear a whole area. And you guys see the trimmer's got it down nice and short to begin with. So the Uno's gonna have no problem. Now we're gonna start off with our first guideline, guys. It's gonna be with the lever all the way open. These are my Babelist Custom FX. It does have a taper blade on it, so it's a little bit longer. I'm gonna start at the front, set my guideline, and then we're gonna start to work from that back line up around into our front guideline. So you guys see I'm using the corner of the clipper on that curved part when we're working up and down. And I can use more of the clipper on the flat part in the front. Now I switch to my Rebel, guys. It has a fusion blade on it, so it cuts a little bit shorter. The closed clipper is actually gonna be able to take out the ball guideline that we started with. We're gonna use the clipper closed at the bottom of the section, halfway open in the middle of the section, and then obviously, guys, we set the guideline in with the clipper all the way open at the top of the section. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now you can see I'm having a little bit of trouble with the open section. Right where I'm at right now, there's just kind of a dark line. And guys, that is one of the things, I kind of forget about it because I don't take new clients. But guys, when you have a new head, sometimes you have to figure out their hair texture and different things about their head. And like I said, I cut his hair years ago, but it has been a long time. And I'm basically learning his head right here in front of you guys. But give yourself credit if you're somebody that cuts walk-ins and new clients all the time that definitely adds a level of difficulty as you figure out that client's hair so now we're coming in with a one guard all the way open you guys can see again we're cutting into a number two closed so not a huge step here you guys are going to see just a very slight guideline i am going up about another three quarters of an inch we're going to set in the open one guideline then we'll go ahead and connect the one to the two with our one and a half and we'll have that last line left so now we're in with one and a half. You guys can see on that back section, we just want to use the corner of the clipper. Up here, we can use a little bit more of a clipper. We just want to go above the open one and make sure that it's blended into the two. Now we're gonna come in with our closed one. We're gonna start to work on that guideline. Now we have to go above the line and under the open one. So we wanna go above the line knowing that we gotta come in with the half guard and that will take the line all the way out. So we're going through that line, just lightening it up and then we'll come in with the half guard in a second and get anything that's left behind and we'll be finished with this side. Now we're coming in with the half guard, guys, it is halfway open. That is a sweet spot with the half guard that is gonna get out the spots between the open clipper and the closed one. So again, using the corner on the back, you can really see it now, just using the very few first teeth on that blade. And then as we get around to the rest of it, we can use a little bit more clipper where it's flatter. So we're just using that half guard again, going through that last line that's left between the open section and the one closed, and that should bring this thing together. Now we're gonna go ahead and get his beard together. Guys, I can look at the spot that I'm working in and I can tell that it's about a one and a half. So I'm gonna start with a one and a half, make sure that everything above that is cut down and then we will fade our way out of the beard. Just like we just did on the side of the head, we're just gonna do it in reverse. So one and a half, then an open one, closed one, half guard, open clipper, half open clipper, closed clipper at the top, and then of course trimmer and shaver to go ahead and get that all the way bald and out to the side of the head. Now we're gonna edge up the front. Guys, I asked him what he wanted to do. He said whatever I thought looked best. So we're just gonna touch it up. We're not gonna give him too crispy of a hairline. We are gonna get a nice sharp vertical bar. And guys, we will come in and do some color enhancement in here in a second as well. I'm gonna get the beard together. Guys, I apologize. I did not film the other side of the haircut. Last second, he asked me to put some notch parts in the other side. So you guys will see that here in a second. But basically, it's the same haircut on both sides. I don't have the back to show you. So I thought I would throw the beard in and some enhancements instead of the other side. I'm just going to hit some of these spots I see in this side before we move on. You guys can do that. Once you get it lined up, it's going to show you a lot. And so I like to come in at the very end and kind of polish up a few things that I see. Now we're going to come in and add some enhancements. Guys, I'm using 245 black brown. You guys can see his hair is perfectly black brown. This would be the perfect color that I would use this on. We're going to use the enhancement card. We're just going to enhance the vertical bar. So I did one layer. Wasn't dark enough. I went ahead and spread a little bit more. And then we're going to use the card on the beard as well. So you guys see, I haven't lined the beard up yet. I just want to spray the line in that I want to line up. And then we'll come in with the razor and actually get the hair off down to that line and make it nice and sharp. So you see, I use the flat edge. Now I'm using the curve to get that curve on the beard. And then we'll fill in underneath there a little bit. And like I said, we'll come in with the razor to get it sharp. Now the back line looked a little bit neglected once we darkened up the front. So I want to hit that back line again. We'll just use the straight edge of the enhancement card. And you guys can see darken it up nice. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some fibers on top of that just to make it look a little more natural. You guys will see it will fill the beard in nice and make it look a little bit more natural like hair and then we could come in and do some razor work. 
Now after we apply the fibers, I wanna come in with my trimmer and get all the excess fibers off of his forehead. And we will go ahead and touch his beard line slightly. I'm not gonna come down with my trimmer. I wanna get everything off of his cheek. So I'm actually gonna flip my trimmer. We'll use the razor to get the line sharp. I just wanna get all that hair you guys can see off of his cheek so that the razor doesn't cause irritation. Now guys, this is the beauty of no drip. I didn't like how high I sprayed that line, so I just took some alcohol, wiped it off, and you can see now it looks perfectly fine. So we're gonna come in with the razor now. This is the triple cartridge razor. You guys know I use it fully exposed, so the blade is all the way exposed. We're gonna get this vertical bar together, and now we're gonna come in and get the beard together. So guys, pay attention to this skin stretch on the beard. You see we have a nice curved beard, but when I take my thumb and stretch the skin, I'm able to almost pull that curve straight, and that allows you to use the entire width of the blade to get a nice perfect line. So you'll see it even better here in a second. I'll work my way up towards his mustache and then we'll work our way back and just perfect that line. And you guys will really see the skin stretch here in a second. Now I'm gonna come in and apply some clay, guys. This is the Marmara Space Wax that you hear me talk about. And I'm not gonna lie, before I put product in it, I really didn't think his hair was long enough to get any type of a style. He actually told me he's never had his hair this long. So probably gonna cut it again. We're gonna let the back grow in a little bit. We're gonna try to do some cool stuff on it. So if you guys wanna see any specific haircuts or anything different, let me know and I'll film it again next time he comes in. So I'm gonna apply some clay. If you guys didn't see my styling video, I like to apply clay like this. Then I take my wide tooth comb and comb the hair back down because obviously you guys can see the product has it held up if you use a fine tooth comb it is going to grab the hair because of all the product it's going to comb the hair down nice and easy and it's also going to give us kind of the start of some texture because of the wide teeth you guys can see it actually gives it a cool finished look then i'm going to come in and use my fingers to kind of scrunch the hair and get it into the finished style that i want Now as we clean them up guys, I'm gonna clean up the back of the neck. We're gonna clean up underneath this beard. I just wanna tell you guys kind of a cool story, kind of cool part of this haircut. Like I said, Dakota is a local barber student. He had actually come to me for a haircut years ago and now he watches me on YouTube to learn how to cut hair. You know, like I said, he's in school. A lot of us know we don't learn a lot in school and so he is learning a ton from YouTube. And he was kind of tripping that I was cutting his hair. He was super excited that he was going to be on YouTube. And uh, I think he kind of felt kind of silly about it. So I made sure to let him know, you know, guys, three, four years ago, I was the same guy. I was watching YouTube. I'll never forget. I took a class that Bazio hosted. I had never met him in person. I watched all his videos and I felt the same exact way. I felt it was just crazy to finally meet him in person, somebody that I looked up to. And so I let Dakota know, you know, man, listen, I was that same guy. I meet people all the time that watch me on YouTube and think it's super cool. I still see myself as just regular old guy from Kentucky, um, but it is super cool that I'm able to inspire people and teach people. Um, but it's cool, guys. I was the same exact person four years ago. I was just like you watching every haircut tutorial I could on YouTube and taking my craft seriously and you guys see where it got me. So. All right, guys, that is the finished cut. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, smash that thumbs up, guys. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your bell notifications so you guys don't miss any content from me. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this cut. I definitely think it turned out super dope. Guys, as always, I appreciate all of you that watch my channel, and I'll catch you guys next time.